Hey guys, Shane from Liberty Under Attack again. This is part two to the Open Skies Treaty and uh, Global Disarmament video. If you haven't watched the first one, go watch that first. <clears throat> so I've gone through the documentation that I've wanted to go through. And I think I've made my point pretty clear. Um, I mean, it's just these all these documents. It's, if anyone tells you that they aren't trying to take our guns, you slap them in the face. Tell them to wake up. They're sure as hell trying to take our guns. <clears throat> There's no denying that whatsoever. <clears throat> so I just kind of wanted to expand uh, expand upon that last video. Um, so with the Open Skies Treaty, clearly says um, the treaty is also aimed at building confidence and familiarity among states' parties through their participation in the overflights. So, um, what they're saying is that Russia, when they fly over the United States, they can get a better idea of what the terrain is like. Um, a better idea of um, <clears throat> where all those big cities are, like th things of that nature, what they look like from the air. Um, it is my determination, my opinion, that um, when they do try to round up the guns or whatever happens, if it's a um, false flag or if it's a uh, terrorist attack, quote unquote, <clears throat> they won't use, they will use outside troops, probably United Nations troops. There's a quote from Henry Kissinger. Let me find it real quick. Um, good quote. And he's actually telling the truth. They don't usually hide what they're saying. So Henry Kissinger, today Americans would be outraged if UN troops entered Los Angeles to restore order. Tomorrow they will be grateful. This is especially true if they're told there is an outside threat from beyond, whether real or promulgated, that threatened our very existence. It is then that all peoples of the world will pledge with the world leaders to deliver them from this evil. The one thing every man fears is the unknown. When, a present, when presented with this scenario, individual rights will be willingly relinquished for the guarantee of their well-being granted to them by their world government. That was Henry Kissinger two days after my birthday at Bilderberg Group. What a great goddamn birthday. Um, <laughs> so, they've discussed having UN troops in the United States. They have discussed it. And <clears throat> it's my belief that the Global Skies Treaty only makes that um, the Open Skies Treaty, not Global Skies Treaty. The Open Skies Treaty will give them a better, give them better knowledge on what the United States is like. So that when they come in here, they won't be going in blind, I guess you could say. <clears throat> that may seem far out, but I'll tell you what, the global disarmament probably seemed pretty far out before I showed you all those documents. Um, there's a quote from uh, William Bloom, too. Um, okay, let's see. Yep. All right. It's probably gonna be hard to get to. One second. Okay. Let's see. No matter how paranoid or conspiracy-minded you are, what the government is actually doing is worse than you imagine. Um, it's a former State Department employee. He opposed the Vietnam War, and that is the truth. No matter how paranoid or conspiracy-minded you are, that what the government is actually doing is worse than you can imagine. So, seems crazy, but I'm sure they already have the plans drawn up. Maybe not drawn up, but they have it planned out somehow. Um, I don't know, guys. It's <clears throat> I'm getting sick of... Uh, People who deny this sort of thing. I'm getting sick of people denying that it's actually real. I mean, there's a good start here on the website to get you to get people introduced into the, the idea of the new world order. <clears throat> and it's not conspiracy anymore. Well, it's still a conspiracy, but the, the normal definition of conspiracy that the uh, government-controlled media uses. Um, being a conspiracy theorist shouldn't be a bad thing. It means you question what's going on. You question what your government's doing. You don't really trust many people, and that's how it should be. The um, Too much trust is what got us in this position to begin with. We, we 
we trusted them and then we gave them too much they got too much power and now it's out of control um i mean there's plenty of quotes on the new world order like it's there's so many of them i just pulled some off the forbidden knowledge because i mean <clears throat> the whole list of quotes we're on the verge of a global transformation all we need is the right major crisis and the nations will accept the new world order Georgia Guidestones maintain humanity under 500 million in perpetual balance with nature. Back of the dollar bill and new it coeptus. Our God favors our God favors our undertaking. Our God favors our enterprise. <clears throat> and Novus Ordo Seclorum, new order of the ages, new order of the world, new world order. And I mean, there's plenty of stuff here. Skeptic can be turned into a questioner or a skeptic, which is good. We want that. We want them to ask questions. So I guess the reason for this video is kind of, I only had 15 minutes and I had a few more things I need to say, but I don't know, guys. Take a look at these and do, uh, look at them yourself. Read the entire document. Um, I just wanted to introduce you to the idea so that you got the inclination to go actually look for it yourself. Yeah, look at these documents. <clears throat> Share this video. And get the word out. I mean, I'm, I'm sick of hearing these liberal anti-gun pussies say that they aren't trying to take our guns. They've been trying to take our guns since 1960, 1961, when John F. Kennedy signed it. And every other president has furthered it along. <clears throat> so share this to all of your liberal friends and all of your, um, all of your sheeple friends. And... Let them see that things aren't necessarily the way they seem. Definitely are not. Freedom from war, the United States program for general and complete disarmament in a peaceful world. Peaceful world, the utopia, what they promised the New World Order. No more war, no more poverty, um, no more murder, no more, no more crime, no more uh, violence. It'll all be gone if you just submit yourselves to this new world order which is bullshit that's just the i mean they, they they're very good at convincing people that it's going to be good but it's not it's going to be a one world totalitarian socialist state and we need to realize that well everyone else needs to realize that because it's something you need to get up and fight against it really is <clears throat> I mean, just, just look at some of this shit. It gets UN peacekeeping powers. They aren't peaceful at all. Second stage into the series of measures which would bring within sight a world in which there would be freedom from war. Implementation of all measures in the second stage would mean bullshit. Just a bunch of bullshit there. Uh, during the third stage of the program, states of the world, building on the experience and confidence gained, success, successful implementing the measures of the first two stages, would take final steps towards the goal of a world in which states would retain only those forces, non-nuclear armaments, and establishments required for the purpose of maintaining internal order. They would also support and provide agreed manpower for a UN peace force. A UN peace force equipped with agreed types and quantities of armaments would be fully functioning. So get this. Inside the United States, or if we we should, people should wake up and fight it. But when we go into the new world order, there's not going to be a local police force, a sheriff, or a state police force, or um, anything like that. They're going to send in UN UN peace officers to each country to to keep order, to hold order. The peacekeeping capabilities, the United Nations would be, would be sufficiently strong. So that's good. At least we have that to look forward to. Um, the disbanding of all national armed forces and the prohibition of their reestablishment in any form whatsoever other than those required to preserve internal order and for contributions to a United Nations peace force. Omission from national arsenals of all armaments, all weapons, mass destruction, and the means of delivery other than those required for a UN police. UN Peace Force. I don't know, guys. You can do with this what you want to, but I don't know. This is 
states shall reaffirm their obligations under the UN Charter unconstitutional, usurps the Constitution. Therefore, it's invalid. It's no treaty can supersede the Constitution. It says so in the Constitution. Um, I don't know, guys. I'm trying to give you a chance to kind of skim through this because I'm I'm doing the same thing, and it's it gets worse. Progressive steps to be taken during the final phase of the disarmament program would be directed toward the attainment of a world in which states would only retain retain only those forces that were needed. Da 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 da. da. Um. Yeah. John Birch Society. I don't know where all this is going. I don't know, but anybody that is any politician or anybody that's supporting this needs to be arrested for treason. It's not only is it destroying our Second Amendment right, it is putting us in control of an international police force, an international law. It's been going on since 1945, so I don't think that's going to be the thing to wake people up, but... I don't know, guys. It's up to you now. It's up to you. So, read this bullshit. Feel free to laugh. Feel free to get a little angry because, I mean, it's hilarious. The UN Peace Force will be sufficiently strong. It's comical. It is comical. But, anyways, I'll go ahead and conclude this. Um, make sure to check out the site. Um... Also, check out the discussion forum, drop a comment, drop a chat, I'll get back to you and other people. Hopefully, this gets pretty big, because I think that'd be a lot of fun. Um, come on. I think this would be a lot of fun. So, yeah, let's get this going. Um, and yeah, I just put the, the store on here. So, if you like something that you see or you want something else to be thrown on there, let me know. I can design whatever. So, um if you're liking what you're hearing, please. I I have two hours on the radio show to get this stuff out. So if I get if I if you guys be um, willing to help help me and support me, then um, two hours I could get out a lot of this stuff. This is only in 30 minutes. Half of it was rambling, so <laughs> get a lot more done than that. Oh, so the links will be posted below this one too. In the first uh, first part of this, all. 10, 12 links, however many there were, are posted. And um, please like, subscribe, and share. And I will, um, I mean, the rate I'm at now, I'll probably talk to you guys again tonight. So, um, all right, thanks for watching. Um, LibertyUnderAttack.com.